Among the animation workflow enhancements in Cinema 4D Release 17 are some new preferences that allow you to control how the object and track hierarchy is displayed on the left side of the F-curve window. Before we jump into those specific preferences, I want to point out one little tweak, and that is user data groups are now separated into folders within the track list. So if you have multiple parameters in different user data groups, you can easily see the separate groups. Here's all of the parameters related to the IK leg controls user data group, and here's all of the ones related to the individual controls user data group on this left IK leg controller. But a lot of people don't like all of these additional folders because they add additional lines within the F-curve view. We can remove those by going into the preferences. So we'll just open the general preferences. And on the timeline spline gadget page, there's new preferences here for the F-curve list view, which will actually remove all of those folders. And there's also a preference for the F-curve non-hierarchical list view. And what that's going to do is actually collapse the jagged hierarchy here that actually represents the object hierarchy in Cinema 4D. But when we click this, it's going to collapse it down so that all the objects go on the far left. Now, I will point out that the non-hierarchical list view cannot be enabled without the list view option enabled. So this is really an additional modifier on the list view option. And also I want to point out that these options do not have any bearing on the main dope sheet mode. It will always display in the hierarchical list view with the folders. But if you work a lot with F curves and you like to have that view collapsed, these are some key new preferences that I'm sure you'll enjoy.